Harvey Wan, Emma Kresenthal with you on this Tuesday afternoon. We are recording this weather blast update at about quarter of two. Light snow is falling in Boston, heavier snow off to our west, and we're going to get a thump of heavy snow here over the next couple of hours. The roads are going to become very slick, so please be careful driving. All right, let's get into it. Check out some national temperatures. Certainly cold enough to snow in the northeast. We're in the 20s in southern New England, teens in northern New England. And even though I think we're going to lose it a lot, meaning we're going to warm at the first 5,000 feet, Cold surface air may cause the snow to go to sleet and freezing rain, even in Boston. I'm concerned about that. We'll talk more about that in a couple of minutes. All right, on the national map, let's put the players on the board here. We've got a primary area of low pressure south of Chicago, a secondary storm developing off the North Carolina coast. This is going to be moving northeast, moving right over or just to the south of Boston, and then into the Gulf of Maine by early tomorrow morning. But we have this big, cold, stubborn area of high pressure in eastern Canada with that cold north and northeast wind been feeding down the coast. That's why I am concerned about some freezing rain once precipitation changes over. Speaking of precipitation, again, as of about uh, quarter to two, we have a burst of snow coming into Boston. We have heavier snow off to the northwest, and actually the west and southwest. Here's the national radar looping, and you can see it's snowing just north of New York City in the northeastern Pennsylvania sleet now in around New York City, but we have a number of hours to go of some pretty decent snows before we get into the pink zone, and that would be sleet in freezing rain. Now, I want to show you one of the computer models that I'm using off of the WeatherBell site. WeatherBell is a great site. Joe DeLeo, Joe Bastotti, check them out. They have all kinds of great maps, and this is what it looks like in terms of the precipitation pattern at 7 o'clock tonight. You can see we have snow falling in Boston, still heavy snow, and we have the pink zone. We have some sleet coming into Springfield, uh, just to the south of Worcester and south of Boston. And so this whole zone is going to have sleet and freezing rain as of 7 o'clock tonight, if you believe the HAR model. And then by 11 o'clock tonight, they still say, if this is correct, that we still have sleet and freezing rain in Boston, but the rain getting close up to about Nantasket Beach and uh, in through Providence and much of the Cape is raining. We have the heavy snow from Rutland to Concord to Portland, Maine, and points north. Ski country is really going to get clocked. How much snow are we going with? Well, I didn't change this map. I'm not really comfortable with eight inches in Boston, but I have four to eight I'm thinking something in the range of five or six inches in sleet and freezing rain three inches four inches on the south shore Brockton to Plymouth two perhaps as much as four the Cape and the islands once you get to uh, Lowell into a Springfield six plus some spots may wind up with a foot in north and west of there there could be over a foot where it's going to be mainly a snowstorm so for the balance of the afternoon we're talking about snow picking up in intensity it'll be cold temperatures in the upper 20s then heavy snow this evening will mix with and change to sleet and freezing rain and probably all rain in Boston late tonight, but it could put a glaze over everything with temperatures slowly creeping above freezing. It's going to be a slower process the further west and north you go. And tomorrow itself, any precipitation is done early, followed by variable clouds. It'll become windy, temperatures near 40. And then after that, do I even want to show you the five-day forecast? I just changed this. Every time I think I've got a good handle on this, I have, I'm rearranging this. All right, so Thursday, it's a nice day, partly cloudy. Friday, variable clouds, maybe a shower, low 40s. Uh, the computer models are all over the place on Saturday. It's cloudy, there's snow south, and then increasing clouds on Sunday. But it does appear we might be in for some storminess, if not over the weekend and early next week. It's a changing situation in terms of the five days, so you need to stay tuned. Of course, we'll be here throughout the afternoon, and we'll keep you posted. For now, I'm Mark Rosenthal.